first guest is starring alongside our very own Cameron Matheson, wow. sitting right here in the Hallmark Channel original movie, Love, of course. Welcome the very lovely Kelly Rutherford to our home. Oh, Welcome, Kelly. Kelly. Thank you for being I here. I love you. I'm so good to see you. It's like a reunion. It's like a I know. reunion. I know. It's exciting for me. I've been looking so forward to this. So this movie, Love, of course, we're also looking very forward to it. We've been talking yep. about it quite a bit. You play Amy. You're a widowed mom. And you very unexpectedly meet the handsome, dashing Professor Noah Ferris to well, my left. Well, that's a stretch. Yes, I almost run him over with a car. <laughs> wow, very romantic that's a, over. We're like, oh. It's a little bit of a slow start. <laughs> It's a little bit of a slow start. That's but a start. It's, good. it's, it's great. It's actually very cute. It is. He's like got a wheelbarrow. He's like his muscles are, and I'm like, oh, well, my God. right. So, how is this professor <laughs> with a wheelbarrow that you almost run down? How does that exactly happen? Well, I'm really focused on taking my daughter to college, and this is a big thing for her yeah. because she's, you know, been on her own. She, when her husband died, she focused really on her daughter and school and just that. So all of a sudden, she's now having to you know, let go, and, and her Why? daughter's growing up, and she's having this, like, we all, you know, this moment, yeah. and um, and then this, like, really handsome, muscly guy, like, walks by, like, whoa, <laughs> what's this about? And then I'm in the movie, and then too. Forget, I'm also <laughs> there. <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> there. Oh. <laughs> Who happens to be very nice, really good Thank actor. You, Kelly. Thank you, know, Kelly. And I, he's your daughter's professor? No, well, one of them. One yes. of the professors oh, yes. at the college. He's like the nature guy. You seem so oh, surprised that I'm playing a professor. <laughs> no, he's really, he's very convincing as it. But he does like this whole oh. nature thing. Look, see, we're in the cornfield. Oh, so we're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> we have a little sneak peek. We're going to look at a clip. Uh. Let's see what we got. Okay, okay. let's take a look. Okay. You plant the seeds just about a half inch into the soil, about like that. And I'll give you the seeds so you can do the honors. Just sprinkle them in there. Perfect, yeah. Just like that. Okay. And now we just cover it up. Just throw some dirt on there, yeah. Loosely, we don't want to pack it down. And then we just, we just wait. And when do we get to see something? Well, by the spring, there'll be a row of saplings all along here. Nice. Be great if life was that easy. You plant some seeds, you water it, wait for it to grow. Hmm. Well, it's not going to be that easy. I mean, only a small fraction of these will grow into trees. Mm. It will take years of cultivation before they start bearing fruit. And I realize I'm brimming with an allergy right now. <laughs> but it's true. I mean, some things just take time before they're ready. Yeah. Oh, I love so You sweet. know, I see that. It brings back memories. I had such a good time working with you. I really do. You guys have the greatest chemistry. Honestly, from the, the first day that yeah. we met, the first day we met, we had a dance rehearsal yes. for a line oh. dance scene. I had just come from playing a pregnant lady on, um, <laughs> on, on Dynasty. And, and so I was sudden... kind of like doing my dancing with my belly. I just felt like I was still on my yeah, belly. Yeah, I like on. shook that feel yet. <laughs> So we so do that. Like, hey. well, Cameron has some some experience in the dancing department. <laughs> well, How I tried you? my best. He was so good. Were you good? I don't. Yeah, I mean, let's yes. you listen. There we are. Oh, our, our director yeah. actually shot this footage, oh, and we're doing a little line yeah. dancing. Right. But this is a great way and a way to I think to kind oh, of break the ice. Jedi, Jedi, who, who our dancer. That's our dance that? instructor and there, Tyler. showing us the moves, and we're kind of getting into you it. There you go. Yeah. You see that? Did yeah. you ever have to do anything like that on Dancing with the Stars? Well, I don't. Yeah, quite. I see. I see. He didn't have a partners. dance partner like oh, exactly that. Exactly right. Yeah, he only, you know, it was. But a, it was a good way to break, sort of break the ice, kind of yeah, yeah, initiate really the chemistry. Yeah, well, your, I your chemistry uh, went on beyond that. I mean, it all started from there. Yeah. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Kelly. But I felt like he really was trying to mimic your every move on set. Wow. Oh, was he? And not just dance. Oh, <laughs> was he? I, I found some it. photos from on set where literally really? he was. Recreating everything you were doing. No, well, Look, I mean, he, he started dressing like she's you. She's very fashionable. You can't blame me. Yeah. She looks fantastic all the time. He, started to be, he began to sleep. How, I recognize the power did. of power naps. Yeah. We did. Okay. We did a lot of disco we napping. We did. We did a lot of disco, disco napping. napping. It's true. I mean, wherever and whenever these days get really long. Like that apple picking days. is really strenuous. <laughs> and that pumpkin be. bowling. It can't be. Woo, well, what about woo, what about woo. trying to deal with the tractor? Yeah, that's a city girl. Let me tell you, this was like that scene in the film. 
on the tractor. There it's was a terrible. corn maze, and it was dr driving through a very narrow no, kind of path. The whole thing is, we always we did this kind of late in the movie, and we always <laughs> visualize as this big John Deere with like, you know, a steering wheel, so, right. and like two seats, and everything. And we showed up, and it was this one seat, <laughs> one seater, and it was the little... steering or these like levers. It wasn't even a steering <laughs> wheel, and it was, it was, like was a so narrow. Thing. And I, I wasn't know. exactly great at it. And I was like, how am I supposed to fit on this too? And you know, <laughs> Cameron's a tall guy, and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna be off here, like hanging. Off the side. But it's you're going to so see this movie, and, and we're laughing, got laughing, laughing. Well, we laughing hysterically it because I was like literally had, like, taking corn down corn stalks. whacking us in the face. I was like we driving were... into the corn and <laughs> taking it down, and I'm supposed and to know a, what I'm doing. This is somebody's real farm. No, it, it was. was so so you were destroying this man. Well, oh. he was very understanding, he was so and he knew cool that I was it. doing my best. Yeah, no, we had a lot of fun, but it was just—it was all new stuff, so it makes it really fun. Well, not only did you have a really good partner in crime and friend in Cameron on set, but you actually brought your two best friends to Aww. set with you. Yes. Twombly? Twombly. Twombly and said it right. All right, yes. Tell me about Twombly and Cappuccino, because they seem like they took over the set as well. Yes, they're two they're little a good time. mini dachshunds, and they go everywhere with me, and they're madly in love. I got Cappuccino first. Oh, look, this is like. That's them loving on each other. It's like, they literally it's like the dog can't... version of love story. It's oh so <laughs> sweet. They're so beautiful. They too. love each other so. I would much. come and like you had them like almost every yes. every day yes. on set, and the the three of them together looked like it was a nonstop Ralph Lauren ad. Like everywhere they went, I'm like it's so oh, right beautiful. There. They're, they're so gorgeous. Sweet. They're everywhere. Look at them behind. How you. are, are they, they doing? They're so good. Okay. They're here are they brother now. and sister. Sure. There, no, I got her first, and then she wanted a boyfriend, so I was like, okay, well, let's go find you a cute boyfriend, and then Twombly came around, and that was it, and now they're madly in love. Mm -hmm. well, that's a very so, special connection. I have to tell yeah. you, it's not every day that you get two dogs that, I mean. No, and a friend of mine called me, because her college, um, her daughter's college roommate had adopted the dog, Yeah. and it was this whole thing. She couldn't take care of the dog or something, and so I said, well, bring him over for the weekend, and I had just been talking about wanting to get another dog, and she's a mini dachshund, and so was he. And, and so they're they perfect fell in together. love. Yeah, over that weekend they just played and had so much fun. I never even called her to tell her I was taking. You know? <laughs> she was like, uh, "Are you taking?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Everything." Honestly, fine. I feel like this is a plot for another Hallmark movie. It exactly. Cappuccino and Twombly. <gasps> love. Dogs yeah, in love. The sequel to Love, of course. Yes. <laughs>